Hi friends, it's Miss Jillian again. Thanks for joining us for Summer Tales today. Today we're going to read Mommy's Little Monster, written by Don McNiff and pictures by Kate Willis Crowley. Trolls love their mommies. Tiny Troll loved his mommy a lot, more than puddles and more than earwigs. But Tiny Troll's mommy was going to a party tonight. Coming with you, said Tiny Troll. Oh no, my little monster, said Mommy. This party's only for grown-ups. Mrs. Hag is going to babysit you. I am not a baby, he whined, but his mommy wouldn't listen. Tiny Troll sat on his mommy's lap while she painted her claws and curled her bristles. He held her onto her leg while she waxed her tail and rubbed slime into her scales. Then she dabbed behind her ears with her blue bottle perfume and put on her high-heeled clod hoppers and her pond weed cloak. She was ready. Tiny Troll took one look at his mommy and loved her so much he nearly popped. She was the prettiest mommy ever. She was Princess Mommy Troll. He put his arms in the air and his mommy picked him up. She smelled stinky sweet and strange, not like his mommy at all. Mrs. Hag arrived. Tiny Troll clung on tight, but his mommy was firm. She put him back down on the ground. Come now, my little monster, she said. Give mommy a kiss goodbye. But Tiny Troll shook his head. He turned away and pouted. So his mommy blew him a kiss and slipped out the cave door. Tiny Troll roared. He threw himself at the door. Mommy! Oh, no. Come on, lovey, said Mrs. Hag. How about some more mud milk and a bedtime story? Tiny Troll liked mud milk, but no, he loved his mommy more. No, he yelled. He flung his toy slug against the wall. Mommy! Okay, Mrs. Hag said kindly. I'll be in the swamp room if you need me. Tiny Troll lay his face scrunched into the itchy mat. His tears made a big wet patch. Meany mommy, he muttered. He drummed the door hard with his tail. Whack, whack, whack. Then he smelled a creamy, muddy smell coming from the swamp room. Tiny Troll sighed. He did like mud milk. He stood up and wiped his eyes. He peeped around the door. Does mud milk make crying go away, he asked. I think it does, says Mrs. Hag. So Tiny Troll had a mug full of mud milk and Mrs. Hag read him his favorite story about a little troll scaring a big wolf away. Then Mrs. Hag let him have another mug full. Tiny Troll snuggled up to her. His mommy never let him have more. Tiny Troll's eyelids suddenly seemed very heavy. He felt Mrs. Hag lift him up and carry him to his bog. She gently tucked him in. When Tiny Troll woke up, it was still nighttime and his mommy was leaning over his bed to kiss him goodnight. She was still wearing her party dress, but she had taken off her makeup and her bristles smelled of mold again. I'm back home, she said softly, and I brought you a treat from the party. It was a bag of rotten worms, his favorite. Tiny Troll hugged his lovely mommy and his yummy worms and smiled a sleepy smile. Maybe grown-up parties weren't so bad after all. Who will always be my baby, she whispered. Who's mommy's little monster? Tiny Troll said, me. And as his mommy stroked his head, he drifted back to sleep. The end. Hope you enjoy mommy's little monster. Thanks for joining us. Bye.